Not every day we come in here and the sun is up. Oh, no, so we, I was supposed to leave work early. Oh, I did leave work, I did leave work early. We were supposed to go to Moana Prita, but things changed. We couldn't go to Indo today, but we're still here early. Yes. Sunlight, there's a beautiful, cool breeze. It's glorious. So it's gonna be a great upcoming. Major update. Gold monorail. The emails for annual pass holder and DVC previews, which end tomorrow, stated you had to be in before five. But we just saw the sign and they were still letting guests in and we walked up and we're like, oh, can we still go in? And they're like, yeah, but you have to park your stroller. Well, James is asleep. So that doesn't work. How late are they you letting him in? And the cast member said, well, the last entries are at 830. So it looks like we'll be able to go see yeah. the Maria. Only downside is I the brought what? a Hawaii. What did I say? Did you say Merida? No. The Moana area. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I heard it as one word and I was like, that would be cool in so, Merida. Yeah. <laughs> Only downside is I brought a Hawaiian shirt to change into and I wore this for Luca because <laughs> we were watching the Sakaar children earlier and uh, he loves this shirt. Mm -hmm. But then I brought a Hawaiian shirt to change like, into. I want to change and he was like, nah. Not because like an extra set. Yeah, just because it's already closed. Well, we got in and it's not. So, but I'll check out some Moana. We have water with this shirt on. So this is a mural of a hundred Disney characters. It's like on this little walkway. There's your favorite Rapunzel. Right? There's Rapunzel and Miguel and Ola. So there's a hundred characters um, in this mural. wreck it Ralph and Vanellope, Incredibles, <gasps> Ember, oh, and Wade. That's awesome. We're, we really love Elemental. I don't know if you guys have watched it yet. It's on Disney Plus now. 10 out of 10 recommend. Wally and Eve. Just cool because like they represent all different types of guests. Moana. Beaker. Who are we doing? They're way too big. Yeah, their proportions. <laughs> Animal. Run Disney. How fun. Ooh, I, I forget what her name is, but I'm so excited for that new movie. Yeah. What a beautiful world showcase lagoon. Oh look, the barges are out. The new ones. So these are, I think there's going to be like five barges now and they won't be able to move in and out. That's the big, they've already confirmed that after all the backlash. And that is December 5th. Yes, Walt December. Disney's birthday. Park it's also your father's birthday. Yes it is. This is definitely 100% the first bite Sarah had. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to get a reaction. Feels like slightly smaller portion, but is it still as scrumdily umptious as ever? I haven't had beer cheese soup in a while. I think I need to make it. I need. Oh my gosh! I need our whole Dutch oven full. We did that once before. As Sarah is devouring the delicious beer cheese soup, she reminded me that if you've been around for a very, very long time on the channel. Not even this channel, but the one that predates the Fat Five Two Hundred Seven. We actually vlogged. Was it a vlogmas or just a, a video? We cooked beer cheese soup yeah. back in the day and put it on the Fat Five Two Hundred Seven. Maybe we'll find the link. Put it down below. Maybe I'll put it in a clip. Look Does, at how much better it already looks. It already looks delicious. <laughs> Sarah just tried it. Yeah, it tastes like chicken soup right now. It tastes like chicken soup. Chicken stock. But you know what we need? We still need. We still need all that cheese. Hey, that's the exact amount we needed. <laughs> I counted out the shreds. We actually got like a whole extra. Stick more. Uh, what? Half pound? No, quarter pound. Half pound more. Both of our kids are asleep, so it's gonna like a little showcase. Oh, I just saw a butterfly and two ducks fly out of the middle of the bushes, and it has the stranger's piece of natural phenomenon that's ever happened. I just didn't like two ducks rapidly, wildly flying out of there and a cute little butterfly. Like, what are you doing? Are you, you're hanging out with a weird crew. I would just like to document how empty that France is. Got this little mousse and a baguette and a coffee and there's seating on seating in here so we're gonna sit. And here are some sleepy feet. This is the move. A coffee, no matter what time of day, and a baguette. I got told by a baker from New York once that this is the best baguette he's ever had. And he said, and I'm the baker from New York. And I said, well, I'm a Chicago, so let's not 
Let's not talk about our cities, but I'll take your word for it. So we've been strolling since France. I still have some bread. And the fact that we like, I didn't hit me until just now that Sarah, how accurate it was. It was important to point out that we haven't gotten here with the sunlight up in so long. Yeah. This feels like the weekend. Yeah. We got here at five. The sun's going to be down in the next probably 20 minutes. Yeah. It's amazing. It's beautiful breeze. And the boys, Teddy started to stir a little bit and that's why we started to stroll and I've been chomping on bread around World Showcase. But we've been looking at the menus because we I feel like we haven't done this half. And obviously we hadn't vlogged for like a whole month, so we haven't even gotten to show you everything. We've been here. We have been at Food and Wine. We didn't stop living, we just stopped vlogging. Yeah, which is weird. Very, very weird. Yeah, you roll, I'll show the menu. So they have, this is a Chicago thing, an Italian hot beef sandwich, so we'll definitely have to get that eventually. Everything else looks amazing, but we, we definitely had to bring up the hot beef sandwich and the Goose Island beer. So we'll be back for this one for sure. We we really did just stuff up on bread. Out of nowhere. It's funny and gorgeous, right? Uh-huh. It's raining. Oh look. Beautiful. Rainbow. It's a big one. Look at this bedhead. So the boys woke up from the rain. And we are gonna go into the Mexico Pavilion to go on Grand Fiesta Tour. It's the, one of the boys' favorite rides. And they love seeing the Dele de los Muertos exhibit because it's someone's birthday. And then, as the sun sets, we kind of want to do the Moana with the sundown. Headed into Creations to get our annual pass holder magnet. And here he is. The little sparkly Oswald number. Wow, here we go. Water connects us. Wow. We got rain. That's where the cycle begins. Wow. Ooh, it's gorgeous at night. I haven't seen it during the day, but I'm happy to see it at night. Ooh, we can touch water. Are you kidding me with Spaceship Earth right there? Oh my gosh. Touch the water, strings of water. So over there is the dancing waters. You wave at them and it activates the different streams. The kids are very, very excited about all the water. So mom and dad have like, we're not, it, it, we're just running around having yeah. fun. So right, we haven't been able to like read everything or like really know what's going on. We're gonna get beautiful aesthetic shots, but we're here to have fun. Like staring at streams of water. A little stream action. Okay, good to know there are new bathrooms here. And though I won't show you them, but I am an aficionado of Disney World bathrooms, so I'm gonna go in and check out the theming. Yeah, it's a beautiful lake. The water's filling up from the stream. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Tafiti, so gorgeous. Moana up there. 
with the wave. And there's Takamura over there. That's <laughs> jellyfish! You're good. Why did you drop by from the bottom? Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> <laughs>